Greetings fellow student, my name is Edgar Camarillo and in this video I would like to present to you the glorious art pieces of Richard Catoon Woodville titled War News from Mexico. This piece is located just a few miles from here in Bentonville, Arkansas at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. The artist is Richard Woodville. He was an American painter in the 19th century who lived during the era of the Mexican-American War in 1846. This is why he decided to create this painting about the war and therefore titled War News from Mexico. The medium of this piece is oil on canvas with dimensions of 27 by 25 inches. As you are walking around Crystal Bridges Museum, you come across this painting in the 19th century area. When you first see it, it is relatively small compared to the other paintings around it, but once you look at it closely, you see the detailed facial expressions and all the emotions portrayed in every man in this image. This painting caught my attention right away due to the men's shockingly facial expressions and stance surrounding the newspaper, intriguing me to learn more about it. Before I go more in depth with the painting, let me tell you some background information about the artist. Woodville was an American first genre artist who attended the University of Maryland School of Medicine. However, he believed that the ideal of medicine as a profession was not really for him, so he began painting. Woodville was known for rather soft, sentimental style that imitated the side lighting, usually through windows. He was an American artist in the sense that he would not paint anything other than American scenes, and he would never exhibit his paintings abroad, as he wanted to keep all of his art in the country. Now let's go back and examine one of the paintings that made Wo Woodville well known. Let's take a look at War News from Mexico. The dimensions of the paintings are 27 by 25 inches, which is really not that big. However, the composition of the work translates into a story that was going on during the Mexican-American War that Woodville wants us to know and see in his painting. The meaning of the painting is oil on canvas, and at this time, this was a very popular mean to use for paintings and drawings. When we first examine the picture without knowing the title, the first piece of the, the, first piece of the picture that comes across is a newspaper. As we look around the plane, we get, we get a feeling of being trapped around all the rectangular shapes that follow the shape of the newspaper. First, we have the door frame in the back trapping the audience into the rectangular frame. Following that, there are various rectangular shapes such as the porch, the hotel sign, the pillars, and ultimately the picture frame of the painting itself. But now let's go in, let's go deeper into the actual meaning of the art. The painting depicts a group of white men gather around the, another white man who looks like he has just rushed in with the latest news as he is holding the newspaper. At this time in history, the Mexican-American War had just come to an end and people were anxiously waiting to find out the outcome of the war and this is exactly what Woodville is portraying portraying in the picture. The men are gathered around the center figure, showing various degrees of interest and fear as we see through the shocked expressions on the faces. Even though the white men are the center figure of the piece, we also have a black man and a black child outside of the porch listening closely to the news. Then we have a woman in the background on the right looking out the hotel window, also hearing the news from the men. It is a bit hard to see, but if we look near the top, we can see the men are standing on the front porch of the American Hotel. The spatial organization delineates the boundaries between the figures grouped inside the hotel frame and outsiders or the blacks and the women. Together, these spatial and social hierarchies provide an example of the American society. The people in the painting all are a representation of the people living in America as a hotel symbolizes the entire nation. As you can see, the black man and child, as well as the woman looking out the window, remain in the periphery, showing that they are not sheltered by the American hotel porch. At this time, slavery was a big issue as the U.S. had conquered the land of California, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, and parts of Colorado from the war, and people were anxious to see what was going to happen with this new conquered land. All of the men gathered on the porch would be able to participate in the decision of whether slavery should be spread to these new states. Women at this time didn't have many rights and would not have a say in the decision making process and this is what Woodville is trying to portray in the frame by only framing the white men inside the porch showing that at this time they are the only ones that would be able to vote when it came to making important decisions. The black men's expression 
reflects a heartbreaking mixture of eagerness and apprehension. Eagerness, perhaps because of the possibility for a new life in the West. Now, if we examine the bottom portion of the painting, there is a semicircle that opens up. This semicircle is there to allow the viewers visual access to the central scene, but Woodville does not just want us to be a spectator. He creates an open space in front of the men as an invitation to accompany them and fill the space up. If we look at the facial expressions of the white men, they all seem shocked and amazed at the same time as the one of the men is reading the news. While if we look at the woman and the black man and child, they seem to be not as content and amused as the men. Blacks would still have no rights and slavery would be spread to the newly conquered land, while for women this war didn't change anything for them. They still had no rights in decision making, and we can see that by the facial expression of the woman. The period of this painting is 19th century realism. 19th century was an age of revolution and conflicts between different classes of society, and they were often implicit in the works of art. American realism depicts contemporary social realities and the lives and and everyday activities of ordinary people. At this time, at this point in time, newspapers and magazines were the main source of news carrying cartoons, caricatures, satire, and political leaders all over the U.S. And this is exactly what Richard Woodville is depicting in his art. The style of this century can be seen in various artists' paintings, such as Asher Durant's Kindred Spirits. Now, let's take a look at the similarities and difference between these two artists. Woodville's painting is being compared to Durant's not only because they are from the same time period, but because of how Woodville's war news from Mexico is organized, just like Kindred Spirits. Woodville's painting is only a year older than Durant's. If we take a closer look, we can see how Durant creates a motion of circles throughout his art, such as the arch that is created over the trees, created by the trees above their heads, while Woodville's rectangular shapes are repeated throughout the frame, such as seen on the newspaper, the door, and even the enclosure of the porch that surrounds it. When we take a look at the color the artists use, we see a, we see a similarity between them as they, as they both use this soft, brown pale color on the clothing of the figures in both pictures as well as that surrounding to give it a more realistic look. Duran also engages the viewer in a zigzag back into the background and lets you go and see and appreciate the beauty, the beautiful scenery of the mountains. On the contrary, when we look at Woodville's art, he holds us around the picture plane blocking access to the background and creating a focus which drives attention to the expression of the different individuals in the central paper. As we know, they are both realistic style paintings. However, Duran was more of a landscape artist and he shows this in his paintings. We were able to see Duran and Cole, the two men portrayed in the image, enjoying the beauty of the outdoors and they let us enjoy the beautiful scenery with them. Whereas to Woodville's painting, we are trapped in a more intense scene where we are witnessing the effects of the war and the various reactions of different people. Even though Richard Woodville had a very short artistic life, he managed to complete astonishing works of art. Just look at the detail in every man's expression, as well as the clothing style back then. We can see the, that politics was something that influenced his art, and he captures every bit of detail in War News from Mexico. I definitely encourage you to go visit this painting at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, and take advantage of the incredible art pieces available there to the public completely free. If you have not visited Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art, make sure it is on your bucket list while you're here in Arkansas because I promise you it will be one of the best experiences of your life. Thank you.